Today, I'm bringing you some easy tips to follow on photo pit etiquette. If you're somebody who's out there that is looking to shoot some concerts or someone who's already out there actively shooting concerts, um, these are some tips that are going to be easy to follow, um, common sense kind of things to make your life and everyone else's life in the photo pit a whole lot easier. Uh, First thing I'm going to touch on here is you're going to see a lot of people in the pit at times shooting with point and shoot cameras or even cell phones. A lot of photographers out there really feel that these people have no business uh, being in the photo pit. Uh, they're not real photographers. Um, you know, I don't necessarily agree with that philosophy that they shouldn't be there. Okay. Um, you might be a writer who's at a show that doesn't have your photographer with you that day and you need some photos to go along with your review. You're not going to spend a lot of money on a camera, you know, uh, so you're going to shoot with what you've got. Okay? Uh, you might be someone who's just starting out. Uh, you don't necessarily have the funds to go out and buy an expensive DSLR camera. Um, y you know, so you're using what you have to get started. Um, I'm okay with that. Um, as long as you are considerate of the people around you. So, um, if you're one of these people out there shooting with this type of equipment, just be courteous. Uh, you want to step to the back of the photo pit uh, behind the other photographers and, you know, hold your, your camera or your phone up above them. This way, um, you're not reaching up in front of them as they're taking a shot. Uh, that happened to me a lot of times this past weekend. I shot Rockstar Energy Drinks Mayhem Festival in Atlanta, Georgia. And, it, you know, there was a bunch of times where uh, I get the shot I want lined up. Right as I depress the shutter, somebody's hands right up in front of me. And, you know, I miss my shot. Uh, but, you, you know, if it happens to you, don't get upset with the person. Don't start an argument or anything. It's it's not worth it. Just you know, you know, lightly tap them on the shoulder and say, you know, hey, excuse me, can I can I get in here and and, and get a shot? Okay, um, it, you know that that leads us you know right into uh, navigating the photo pit. Uh, it's tight quarters in there, um, and there can be a lot of photographers in the pit at one time. Um, at Mayhem Festival, there was. By the time Slayer came on, um, which, you know, they were the second to last band, there was 40 to 50 photographers at one time in the, in the pit, and it's very tight in there when it's like that. Um, so you don't want to bang into people. Um, you don't want to pass in front of anybody. Uh, you always want to pass behind your fellow photographers. So just, you know, you need to get to one spot from another. Just gently place your hand on their back and, you know, they're going to get it and they're going to know that's, that's like the signal. I need to get by. They're going to step out of your way and let you get past. You don't ever want to plant yourself in one place uh, and shoot from that same spot. Um, you don't want to shoot one band member over and over and over. Um, you want to move around and get shots of everybody in the band at different angles. Um, you want to create interesting images so you're gonna to need to move okay um, it's just the way it is and you're gonna get that one person there's always one that plants themselves in one place and doesn't want to move this is my spot I'm not moving I'm gonna take every photo from here you're gonna to need to get in that spot it's inevitable okay because they're they're picking you know to them what is the prime spot um, you know I'm standing where the lead singers you know visible and the microphone's not in front of his face, okay? Um, just go up to that person, you know, and, and, you know, hey, bud, you know, can I get in here and get a couple shots? I, you know, I need these for what I'm doing. They're going to move out of your way. 99% of the time, they're not going to give you any grief at all. They're going to move because, um, you know, we're all there for the same thing, okay? Um, with that being said, in between bands, um, you know, you're going to shoot the first three songs of, of every band when you do a show, okay? Um, on a 
occasion, it's different. Uh, a couple of the bands this past weekend only allowed us to shoot the first song of their set, and that was it. Um, never had it happen before. Uh, it's very short, so you got to make sure all your shots count because you never know you might get out of there quicker than three songs. Um, but when you do come out of the pit, get to know the other photographers that are there with you. Um, exchange business cards, you know, and ask about the gear they're using, who they shoot for, and this and that, and you know, because you, you're going to see these people over and over and over again if this is something that you're going to be doing continuously, okay? So you, you want to have good relationship with, with these people. Um, so, you know, this way you have a great working relationship with the other photographers. And plus, you know, you're going to learn something. Every time you talk to, to another photographer, you know, you're, you're going to find ways to do things that you've never done before to experiment with and, and make yourself better. Um, you know, you should always be learning anyway. So just, you know, get a good relationship going with the other photographers. Uh, it's the best thing you can do. Um, now, uh, something else you need to know about in the pit is security. Uh, you, don't, you don't necessarily think about security being in the photo pit with you, but they are. They're there for the safety of the performers. They're there for the safety of the photographers. And they're there for the safety of the fans, okay? So be respectful of them. Uh, treat them the same way as you would the other photographers, you know, um, letting them know you're in their area and you need to get by, they'll move as well. Um, on the same hand, though, um, they're going to let you know when you need to move. Uh, crowd surfers. The shows I shoot, a lot of crowd surfers. Uh, security is going to put their hand on your back. Uh, they might even give you a little bit of a push. Don't take offense to it. Um, it's just to let you know, hey, look out, there's a body coming. So they want you to move. You don't want to get kicked in the back of the head. It's no fun. It's happened to me many times. Doesn't feel good. You don't want to get your, your gear kicked out of your hand either. Um, bust your camera. Uh, definitely something you don't want to have happen. If you're doing something like this, you really should be insured anyway. But still, you want to keep your gear safe. If security lets you know that you need to move, let the photographers around you know as well. You don't want to let anybody else get hurt either. Okay, so. Uh, just be aware of all of your surroundings, uh, what's going on near you, uh, and, and you'll be safe. Uh, something else you have to look out for when you're in that pit is people's camera bags, okay? Uh, you're going to bring gear into the pit with you so you can make a lens change if you need to. Uh, most photographers like to put their bag on the floor in front of the stage. Um, this way they have access to their, to their lenses. Myself, personally, I wear uh, a Low Pro branded fanny pack style camera bag. Um, it's on my hip, I unzip the top, take out what I need, put back what I don't, close the top, all my gear is safe, okay? Not everybody does that, obviously, so look out for backpacks and things like that on the floor. You don't want to trip and get hurt. Um, you don't want to damage, damage someone else's gear, um, and you don't want anybody damaging yours, so always be aware of your surroundings. Just look out for things that are on the floor and, and you know, you'll be safe and sound and you'll be shooting shows and, and getting great shots. Um, that's all the tips I've got for you on etiquette in the pit, but if you're somebody who wants to do this, if you've never shot shows before, keep your eyes on my channel because I will be putting a video together that will teach you the ins and outs on how to get into all the shows that you want. Gene Pennington? double three photography dot com